Salutations and welcome to my haunted abode. Today we are checking out my last horror game of 2022. It's called Hong Zing Kindergarten, and it's made by Mona Chen. This recently came out in Itch.io, and it's meant to be a school project. So I know this looks pretty bizarre right now based off of the language, but you could just press tab to give you the English. Copyright by Li Ming Ming. Alright, so we'll go ahead and live. Video. Alright, I guess we'll do video then. Okay, we, we can't go back into the main menu. So what's all the other stuff? Like system? You can't go to live. Alright, so right out of the gate, this looks like a game that you would get off of pretty much any foreign website. I wish I could name one. Like free.me? Or free.me? I don't remember what it's called. I typically find some of the obscure horror games on there. Caution, the second floor is under construction is. Please do not approach. The campus will be closed at night. Please do not enter. The little foxes are hallmark. There are no balloons on campus. If you hear a small child laughing at night, get out of the safety exit quickly. That's a crazy sign to have out here. So basically, they're confirming that this is a haunted area. Alright. My family. I have a happy family. Mom makes me food every day. Dad also works hard. I hope that every day after class, my mother can pick me up early. Well, that's sweet. Just a little wholesome story there. Our music class. I like to take music lessons because our teachers are good looking. Okay, so the children are amorous about the teachers? Uh, people are good, and they sing well, and I want to take music lessons all the time. My friend Fox. The little fox is my best friend. He has a pointed nose, a big tail, and a fuzzy body. He would also take me to the amusement park to buy marshmallows. So it's a mascot? Or is it like an actual fox? It has to be a mascot. English poster. Little fox. Everyone likes his little fox. New area unlocked office. Alright. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was about. Something was going on in the... Uh, intercom. It's a little girl. So, bad sign? Oh, I do have to recall that this game isn't meant to have jump scares. It's like it wants to build fear based off of, I think, audio. So, you know, don't have your hopes super high on the jump scare thing. Not that you should, because jump scares aren't the way to go for horror games. Unless you build more of like the immersion to a story. Okay. So, nothing in these? It's not like we're looking for a key or anything, right? That is a loud clock. Alright. Now, I probably should cover like big news that I have right now. But I, I really want to get through this game like and figure out what I need to do. There's a TV right here. Let's see if there's anything here for us. Alright, go. Strange. Why is the power cut off? I should go to the hallway. Okay. So we're going back? Yeah, we're back. Little Fox misses you. I mean, I never left. I'm not sure why Little Fox misses me so much. <laughs> I guess I was just gone for like one day. Hmm. So what are we doing here? Can I go to any of these doors? I probably can't. Wait. Yeah, of course we can't because we were in this room. Okay. Yeah, so based off of each room, it's like a different video recording camera. Alright, Hong Zing Kindergarten. We go to this power box. 
hub network. The fuse seems to be blown. I remember there seems to be new area unlocked storage room. The subtitles go by a little too quick. It's like I'm not really given much of a chance to read. Like, I get the first line, but that's it. Alright. So we're in the storage room now. What is this over here? Anyway, just the big news here. I officially started up my own website, foodcat103.com. Here you'll find the upcoming news about what I'm doing, and I will be selling a bunch of products on here. One page is a merch store which you can now buy, but I wouldn't advise buying anything yet until I ensure everyone is getting high quality merch. I just ordered a few samples, so I'll give the heads up when it arrives. Another page on the website is called Garage Sale, which is where I'm going to be selling everything I no longer need, and whatever gems I find when I shop at thrift stores. I don't know how shipping works because it's my first time, so don't buy anything from there yet. And finally, I have a downloads page for obscure horror games. You can find free downloads of games that are no longer available on the internet, or games you've never heard of from a different country. There will be more coming soon to the site. In the meantime, bookmark the page and tune in daily. Think I was better off giving a commercial break there before we continue on with the Let's Play. Better than just like, commentating throughout the Let's Play, you know? I don't know, I'm starting to realize it's kind of annoying. I did that a lot with my older playthroughs. So yeah, commercial break just happened, and now we got a code. We need four digits. Where am I gonna find four digits? Can I like flip the things? Hang on. Can I get, oh, okay, there we go. Uh, hallway. We can look at stuff in here. Kinda like flip the items. I know you can do that with games like Room. So you go to this. Oh yeah, yeah, you can flip it. It's just you have to use WSAD. Okay, flip this. Nothing. Nothing. What about this? You can't flip that at all. I assume it's because it's a poster. Okay. There's like nothing else we can grab out here, right? Uh, anything in office? I mean, yeah, this is very new. 1989. Well, there's our code. So, we'll go back. Easy peasy. They did the same stuff in Room, except Room is more complicating. In case you don't know what Room is, it's like a Japanese horror game that came out a while ago. Which did kind of well on this channel. I'm not sure why it was so popular. It wasn't really that big of a deal in a game. Uh, 1989, right? So we gotta, oh my gosh. The cursor is so off. Oh no. I gotta be careful with this. We're trying to do 1989 here. 1989. We can get to it. That's not working. Or is it in the bottom? I guess I was looking at it wrong. Okay. So we got a fuse now. So we're done with this area. So we'll go to the hallway, right? We put the fuse in and then we can go through the door. This is a very interesting school project. It's much better than like some of the horror games that I've played this year. So I could definitely see um, Mona probably got like an A plus on this. Okay, it's like I should have found the key first. Oh, the power's on. And now there's music playing? Back here? Yeah, I mean, it's clearly haunted. New area unlocked, music room. Yeah, if I were you, I'd just get out of here. I guess curiosity's gonna kill the cat, huh? Alright. I think this is where... 
Yeah, maybe the music was playing out here. Yeah, so we were out there. Just a few seconds ago. No fox back here. There's something wrong with this place. I need to get out of here. You're just now realizing that? Okay. Oh no. There's balloons now. What do we do? Uh... Guess hallway? Hmm... Balloon. Oh. We're popping them. Okay, pop. Tippity pop, pop, pop. That is slightly disturbing. Uh, alright. Well, we just cleared the balloons. Okay, she hasn't laughed, so I think we're perfectly safe. Remember, no jump scares in this game. Yet they did a jo job without using jump scares, they're just using audio. Uh, okay, office. There is more balloons in the office. Let's go ahead and get these right out of the way. He's all excited for 2023. It's like, I got the Vietnam trip going on. I'm gonna try to do this whole, like, thrifting thing at the job. Because, you know, now that I have a website, I can sell whatever I want to sell. So I can just, like, find some gems out there, sell them on the website. Like, I already found one thing yesterday because I went to Smyrna, Georgia. I guess that's it for this area. Storage room? Oh yeah, there's more. And it's much darker too. Hopefully I can find all the balloons. Yeah, some of them are hidden in the dark, that's not good. I'm not a fan of like things being hidden in the dark. This makes the gameplay hard to proceed. Is there another one? Yeah, I see one. It's so easy to miss these. Alright, clear out all these. I don't have to go back into the music room, right? We didn't see any balloons there. Uh, it says interact with something here. Now it's gone. Oh. Are there like dolls we're interacting with? Alright, anyway, proceed forward. Uh, are we done here? Yeah, we didn't have to come back in here, right? Uh, just making sure. Not really sure what was supposed to happen. Alright. Uh. Back here? Did I miss any balloons? I might have missed some balloons inside the storage room. It's just, it's so dark. Like, who is this person that I'm playing? You think, like, I assume it's like a janitor or security guard would have a flashlight if you're, like, in a night shift situation. That's just, like, my suggestion to, um, this person's school project. Give us a flashlight so we can see what we need to do. Because maybe I'm missing a balloon and I don't see it. Okay, getting the fuse again. So I've actually gotten here a lot earlier than it should be. So we're going to go back to the office. Uh, power's still on out here, funny enough. Go ahead and interact with the TV. I just saw something pass by. Interesting. All right. So now we'll go ahead and put the fuse in, and we gotta do pretty much the same thing. Huh. So, the developer, Mona, didn't really do anything with the player's character. It's just using the default. The default's typically like a, like a pill shape. Alright. So now we're back to this. 
I know where the final balloon is. I had to like watch through someone's playthrough to see where it was. Because I, I just wanted to make sure like if I was supposed to pop all the balloons or not. But yeah, that's how you advance in the game. So we had to do all that over again. It's just I didn't know where it was. Turns out it was like right around where the giant plushie is at the end. So that's a bit of a nuisance. All right, so now we gotta go back in here, pop those balloons again. I mean, it's a really good game though, especially for a school project. It's just like, it's a little peevish when you have to go look for things in the dark. I really like the audio usage in this game too. The composing of the piano too, it's all excellent. Uh, I think that might be it. Let me double check just in case. Nope, that was not all of it. That's why you have to go back. At least the red balloons are easy to see in the dark. Unless you're like inside the storage room. But anyway, going through the office now again. I think I just popped two in a row. All right. Or simultaneously, not two in a row. Uh, let's see, that would be it. Doing this again. Now we're inside the storage room, popping these. Nothing here, right? Yeah, we got them. This one hides really well in the dark, though. I hate this corner. Alright. I think so far, so good. Man. So I, I wonder how it's like presenting this in class. I guess like the developer just plays through the game, right? And just like discusses like behind the scenes of everything. Anyway, yeah, right there. Oh my gosh, uh, move out of the way, please. Are you kidding me? I can't push this over, I need to get that key. Can I get it from the side? Oh no, come on. Oh, that is heinous. You can't you can't interact with this drawer right here. So I guess that's a flaw. If you like get to this early, you can no longer close this. Oh, that is Oh no, there we go. I reached for it. Good. I really did not want to restart again. I've already replayed this like three times. It's not like it's hard or anything, it's just like it's kinda of buggy sometimes. So, we're putting this key inside the uh, green lit door, right? Right down here at the end of the hall. Yeah. I mean, where else is there to go? This proceeds continues... Wow, I can't even like get my sentence right. This proceeds forward to like camera 5 and 6, right? Interesting. Or we're just out? I mean, these are just standees. They're not going to stop me from leaving. Alright, I just pop this then. Thank you for play with me. You're well. I mean, for what it is as a school project, I enjoyed it a lot. It's just a bit peevish having to go through the darkness looking for red balloons. And sometimes the game is buggy here and there. But it's buggy in a good way. Because <laughs> you can, like, get through the game faster if you know what you're doing. I, I don't even know if that's supposed to be a bug or not, but anyway, yeah, uh, I fairly enjoyed this as my last playthrough of 2022. I don't know if I'm going to be posting more in 2023 regarding horror let's plays like this one, unless it's like Puppet Combo or Baldi's Basics or Bonnie's Bakery, because people love those. Not sure if they're going to like this, but this is kind of like one of those obscure horror games, and I kind of want to touch more base on those type of games on this channel, because... I mean, if you've seen on my official website, I have a whole list of downloads for obscure horror games. I even posted some links for games that are no longer on Itch.io, like Steel Pipe. So you can check that out on my website. Uh, yeah, let, let's go ahead and check out the help before we end this. You can't get help. So, maybe this is like an unfinished product. Maybe the developer might continue this later on. 
I'm not 100% sure because I don't really know the future of this developer. This is my first time playing Mona Chin's games. So I guess look out for her. Maybe I'll just follow her on uh, Itchy or something. Anyway, yeah, that's going to do it for me. Uh, happy holidays, and I'll see you all in the next video.